What's going on YouTube? Happy Monday. It's Vikings95 here. I hope you all had a great weekend, a great Father's Day. Uh, I am excited for this video. We have my first collectible card club. Uh, this is a platinum box opening. So I'll give you some details on it. Basically, it's 15 packs uh, for the platinum version. I believe they have two other levels uh, for standard packs and then they have two high level packs as well uh it gets much more expensive uh but this one right here said it was 15 packs uh i chose modern you can choose modern or vintage and then uh basically it was 46 dollars 95 cents shipped for this box i believe they are upping the price with prices of you know card packs i think they said they're upping the price to 60 dollars 95 cents i believe i received an email for it uh, but basically, someone reached out to me about this and uh, showed me their box that they got. And it, it looked pretty cool, honestly. So 15 card packs, uh, you know, for around 50 bucks. So it's actually less than a boombox high end, uh, which I've opened quite a few of them and skunked on quite a few. So I'm really excited about it. We are going to see what is inside. And uh, I guess I'll, I'll give a little review on it. So $46.95. Oops. I'll have to cut that out, I guess. But there we go. Collectible card club right there. Uh, here we go. It's June and sports are coming back. We're excited to see the games coming back. First, we have games without fans, but soon fans will be flying through the... Uh, the turnstiles to see their favorite teams and players. We're so excited and grateful to see how many of your customers stuck with us through these unprecedented times. We're also humbled by all of the new customers we've added over the last three months. Hobby is truly back and hotter than ever, and that it is for sure. Uh, thank you so much for being a customer. We're sending you the best of luck with this month's box. As always, please share your photos, videos, great hits you get of this month's favorite social media networks. All right, so there's like the little collectible card club uh you know, insert right there. Looks like here's the box. Really nice sticker. Uh, let's go through the packs. We got some some packing peanuts. I like the box they sent it in. That's uh, that's pretty nice. So it looks like we got some decent, from what I can tell, decent hobby packs here. I'm just going to go ahead and take them all out. And for the price, I mean, $3 a pack is honestly not that bad for, uh, you know, compared to what everything else is with uh everything going on lately so look at that 15 packs uh we have a 2014 tops chrome hobby 2014 tops strata hobby this is an sp authentic i don't know if it's hobby or not this is uh let's see what year is this from 2006 sp authentic could be fun we can see what that holds a 2014 Prestige Hobby Pack, a 2012 Score 12 card pack. I don't know if that's Hobby or Standard or what. I don't know if that they're all Hobby Packs. I know that a majority of them are. Uh, so we have a 2014 Rookies and Stars, a 2010 Tops Platinum Hobby Pack, Panini Threads 2011 Hobby. These are sweet. Uh, I miss... Oh no, I'm thinking of Tops Triple Threads. Um, Panini Threads 2011 could be fun too. Contenders 2006. And these are going to be some fun throwbacks. Tops 2013 Hobby. Oh man, look at that. Just keeps going. A Tops Platinum Hobby. This is from 2013. Decent draft class. Uh, 2019 Donruss. 2013 Rookies and Stars. 2015 Panini Contenders and 2014 Tops Football Hobby. All right, so honestly, I'm pretty excited about these. We have quite a few packs. Uh, this is gonna be a fun time. We got 15 packs right here. Majority of them are hobby, and for $45, honestly, you can't go wrong. Um, so let's get started. I'm just gonna go left or right. We're starting off with score. Let's see what we can get. Uh, Kwan Short, Dante Fowler Jr., Allen Robinson, Jimmy Graham. Look at that. We got a little numbered card right off the bat. It is a Brandon Marshall showcase numbered on a 99. So already doing uh, somewhat decent right there. 
A little blue par parallel showcase out of 99. We have a reflection, Stefan Diggs, Antonio Brown. I don't know if that's who you want to be reflecting, um, but cool little insert. Uh, Tyron Matthew, no fly zone, the honey badger. Chris Ivory, Marshawn Lynch reflections. Toe the line, D hop. A Sheldon Rankins rookie, DeForest Buckner rookie, and Adolphus Washington rookie, and a very expired kids reporter card. All right, so first pack, not bad. Prestige 2014. Let's see what we got. It is a hobby pack, so you never know. Uh, Harry Douglas, Alfred Morris, Clay Matthews. Looks like a uh, draft class of 2013. Draft day standouts. We got the Honey Badger. That's not bad. Third round, 69th overall. I might sleeve that up, honestly. That's a cool looking card. Although this is, wait, no, it, it's not a rookie. Never mind. <laughs> it's just an insert. I was thinking it was a rookie. This is 2014. But that Devontae Adams is a rookie. So we're going to sleeve that up. Uh, Devontae Adams. Nice rookie card there. Couple more. We got Joe Hayden, Steve Johnson, and Donnie Avery. All right. Two decent packs to start us off. This one... We have Topps Chrome. I know the hit odds in these are very, very low, but I have gotten a hit out of one before. And, of course, all the cards just fell. Here we go. Blake Bortles, rookie card. Oh, oh look at that, OBJ. Nice rookie of him. We have a prism, or a refractor behind it, my bad. Bruce Ellington, Topps Chrome refractor. And then a Kendall Wright. So, honestly... Another decent pack with a uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Topps Chrome Rookie. Sleeving that one up. All right, 20... Oh, no. We're on this stack. <laughs> uh, Strata, 2014. Feels like a decently thick pack. No, nah, they're just thicker cards. I forgot about that. All right, so we have Ben Roethlisberger. Luke Keekley, Michael Crabtree, a Lorenzo Taliaferro, that is our rookie, a Jeremy Hill rookie card, and an Anthony Barr. There we go. We're going to sleeve up the Anthony Barr one as well. Nice rookie of him right there. All right, we've got some decent rookie pulls so far. Now we have 2006 SP Authentic. This will be a throwback for me. Looks like a thick card, or it is, it's not a filler. All right, we did. it is not a filler. I repeat, it's not a filler. Uh, we have Frank Gore, Deshaun Foster, Chad Pennington, uh, Chad Johnson, Joe Horn. Wait, is it a filler? Oh, that is brutal. That is just so brutal. I saw this, and I thought that it was... Uh, I just saw it when it was like this. So I thought we had an actual card. It is just a filler. But one side has righty not. Oh, man. Upper deck, you doing me dirty like that? <laughs> Collect the most valuable rookies, memorabilia, and autographs. Well, this is not a uh, rookie mem or auto card. That is for sure. Ah. Uh, we're throwing that away. Um, so that pack, just tricking me. Here we go. Tops 2013 hobby. We've got Jonathan Joseph, Reggie Wayne, Kobe Fleener, Scott Chandler, Steve Johnson. We have Joe Flacco is our uh, little insert right here. Legends in the making, Joe Flacco. Just an insert, nothing wild. Uh, Theo Riddick, rookie card. Uh, Bleedy Rel Wilson. I don't know if I said that right, but uh, Mike Lennon. Mike Lennon. And Gerard Mayo. Mike Lennon is a rookie. So, some cool cards. We have to sort these piles later. I know I'm just 
butchering the piles. Uh, but we have Contenders 2006. Maybe we'll get a rookie ticket auto. That'd be kind of cool. I'm sure if we did, there's a pretty good chance the player is uh, unknown, but would still be still be a nice find. So here we go. Season ticket. Corey Dillon. Cedric Benson. Man, these are throwbacks. Derek Mason. Chad Pennington. And T Tony Romo. So nothing there, but look at these old contenders cards. All right. All right, here we go. Panini Threads, 2011. Eight cards per pack. I wanted to say it felt thick, and it did feel thick. But is this going to be... Oh, man. We got the filler. So we did get a filler, and that one seems to be a common occurrence. We have an Aaron Rodgers, 2011 card. Joe Flacco. A Malcolm Floyd. It's kind of a... Interesting card right there. It's got the canvas feel on it, so that's kind of cool. Malcolm Floyd, Gridiron Kings. Uh, that darn filler card. Bruce Carter, rookie. A Austin Collie, Jimmy Clausen, Patrick Willis, and Braylon Edwards. Man, they're just, they're just not being kind to me with uh, those fillers. Just mean. All right, Tops Platinum 2010, another fun little throwback. Honestly, I don't mind the old hobby packs. I think they're kind of fun. All right, Jason Campbell, Kenny Britt, a Joe McKnight rookie. Joe McKnight. And that is a thick rookie card right there. Look at that got the platinum on it. It looks special. I don't know if there is anything special about it. Kind of cool, just super thick for a rookie card. We actually have a Tim Tebow Topps Platinum rookie behind it. That is kind of funny. Uh, not bad. And Anthony Dixon. So I am going to actually sleeve up that Tim Tebow. All right. Tops Platinum, a sweet, sweet card set. Looks really nice. You know what? I'll, I'll sleeve that up anyways. That's a nice looking card. Joe McKnight, just super thick. Not bad. I've got some thicker card sleeves off to the side, thankfully. All right, 2014 Rookies and Stars. Oh, are you kidding me? Is that another filler? I think it is. Storm Johnson, Ryan Shazier, rookie. That's a decent rookie. Michael Campanero, that filler card that we all know and love. A draft class, Mike Evans, another good rookie name. We're going to sleeve that one up. Uh, we have a Cordero Patterson, Alfred Morris, Eli Manning, Kendall Wright, and a Super Bowl kid reporter. So, decent rookie cards. Nice Mike Evans. I am excited to see what uh, Tom Brady and those that Buccaneers offense can do. I, I don't know if, can they live up to the hype? Because their hype is pretty high right now. Um, here we go, 2014 Tops Football. Another hobby pack. That um, one did not open as nicely as I was hoping. There we go. Tops, we miss you. Here we go. Kyle Rudolph, Steph, or Stephen Hill, oops, Tamba Hali, Ben Tate, uh, Dominique Rogers Cromartie, a Harry Douglas, Thousand Yard Club. That's just a cool looking card in general. Oh, that is actually sweet. Peyton Manning mini card. That is awesome. We're uh, we're throwing that in a sleeve. Love that. Well, Peyton Manning mini on the Broncos. We have a Minnesota Vikings card. NFC, NFC North with AP right in the middle. That is cool. Uh, Brandon Coleman and Dree Archer. Both rookies. All right. We have 
four packs left. Contenders 2015, well, Contenders Draft Picks 2015. Can we find a cool-looking Prism card? The 2015 draft, cast, draft class was actually pretty good. So, we will see. C.J. Anderson, Eli Manning, Deshaun Jackson, Tom Brady, Charles Woodson. That's a cool Michigan card right there. We have a Nick O'Leary, and that's going to be our game day ticket. Kevin White, game day ticket. A Tevin Coleman, school colors. And then a Tony Romo that's turned around. Tony Romo to finish that pack off with old school colors. All right. So, 2013 Rookies and Stars. This one, I'm going to just, I'm going to guess right away. It's got a filler. And it sure looks like it does. Yep, it does. Man. I think that's like four or five fillers in this video. Wes Welker, Daryl Richardson, Maurice Jones-Drew. We do have a numbered card. At least we didn't go completely skunked on that pack. Uh, Doug Martin, 39 out of 99. The longevity parallel from 2013 Rookies and Stars. So there's our second numbered card. We've got this lovely, lovely filler. Uh, Connor Vernon. Michael Crabtree, Matt Schaub, and RG3. All right, two more packs. I'm going to open up the 2019 Donruss last. Let's do 2013 Topps Platinum Hobby. Come on, D-Hop. Low odds, but that would be sweet. Oh, I like that. Starting off with Peyton Manning, Topps Platinum. Sam Bradford. Drew Brees, oh, we do have a rookie. We got a rookie. It's not D-Hop. It is Ezekiel Ansa. Not That's not bad either. And then a CJ Spiller for the thicker card, which I believe is either one per pack or one per box. But that's a, that's a cool refractor rookie right there. I'm actually going to go ahead and sleeve that up because, you know, why not? There we go. Another good rookie to add to the pile. And we have the last pack, 2019 Donruss. It does feel pretty thick. Can we get another filler? Does Donruss have fillers? I can't remember. I think we might have got a hit. We got our first hit, guys. <laughs> I hope. I'm going to be sad if it isn't. Um, so Kirk Cousins, Marshall Falk, Jalen Ramsey, Philip Lindsay, Cordero Patterson, Looks like it's on the other side. So we're going to go like this. Chandler Jones, red press proof. A Justin Tucker, action packed. JJ Arcega, white side. That is canvas. A Ryan Finley rookie card. And then we have, oh, these are kind of cool. All pro, looks like it's a Viking. Oh, we got Adam Thielen. That's actually a cool last card right there. Adam Thielen out of 299. That is the All Pro Kings. Nice Viking to finish it off. That was actually a very good variety of packs. I'm going to say that was awesome for the cost. Uh, $47 for 15 packs, and majority of them being hobby. That was sweet. Uh, so all pro kings, Adam Thielen, two ten out of two ninety nine. Very nice little uh, picture back there. Looks like the painting type. Uh, not bad to finish this video off. Uh, so we got a ton of really nice rookies. Couple numbered cards. That is our hit, and we got oh man, like four filler cards. I threw them on the ground, and then I threw. I think I threw one away. Yeah, here's our other one. So, a lot of fillers, sadly. Uh, some packs might have had actual hits, but, you know, Tops threw a bunch of fillers in, uh, which was actually decent for the pack searchers and everything. So, uh, anyways, I thought that was a lot of fun. So, uh, I'll drop their uh, their website link down below. 
I mean, this isn't sponsored or anything like that. I just went and picked one up on my own. So uh, with that, oh, just one more look at those beautiful cards in the background. Four one of ones in uh, yesterday's mail day. Absolutely insane. Thankfully, this card's actually not super damaged by any means. I mean, there's some little uh, indents on the back, but besides little corner wear and stuff, I was very lucky that that did not get damaged. Uh, I did message the eBay seller, but I have very little faith that they are going to get back to me. Um, but with that, thank you guys so much for watching the mail day video yesterday and then for watching this video today. I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoy it, throw it a thumbs up. Drop a comment down below if you've ever opened these uh, one of these boxes before from the Collectible Card Club. And then if you're not subscribed, I'd love it if you would. Have a great rest of your Monday and great rest of your week, guys. I'll see you later.